two to three hundred of the Russian force was killed. Is, is that is that accurate? Well, that's uh, I would say close to our estimates as well. Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers, it's time to grab your popcorn because we're about to take a trip to eastern Syria, where the U.S. military smoked Russian mercenaries in an epic battle. So, what went down? Well, picture this. A group of Russian and Syrian fighters thought they had an easy mission to capture an oil field. Little did they know the American Special Operations Forces were ready to unleash hell on these poor mercenaries. And boy, did they ever. We're talking about AC-130 gunships, Predator drones, Apache helicopters, and fighter jets circling over the battlefield, pounding these mercenaries from every angle imaginable. The explosion after explosion shook the ground, making it one of the deadliest engagements for the notorious Russian mercenary group Wagner. It was like a scene straight out of a Hollywood action movie. Now, let's talk about the American military's response. They didn't hold back, my friends. They were like, oh, you want to mess with us? We'll show you what we're made of. And they did just that. The Russian mercenaries were completely blindsided by the overwhelming force of the American military who were defending the oil field with everything they had. It was like watching David take down Goliath, except this time it was the U.S. military taking down the Russian mercenaries. But what's the significance of this engagement in the context of U.S.-Russia relations? Well, let's just say it wasn't exactly a friendly game of backyard football. This battle showcased the tension and animosity between the two nations, who have been at odds for quite some time. So buckle up, my friends, because we're about to take a wild ride through the Battle of Eastern Syria and see just how the U.S. military smoked Russian mercenaries. All right, let's talk about the Wagner Group. The Russian mercenaries who went up against the U.S. military, this group is like the Avengers. But if the Avengers were really into vodka and had a slightly more questionable moral compass, they're believed to have close ties to the Russian government, which basically means they're like the government's unofficial army. It's like Putin said, I need a team of elite soldiers who will do my bidding. And the Wagner group said, we got you, fam. Now, the significance of this engagement in the context of U.S.-Russia relations is huge. It's like when two rival soccer teams face off in the World Cup. The stakes are high, and everyone's watching to see who will come out on top. This battle was seen as a direct confrontation between the U.S. and Russia. And it was one of the most intense military engagements between the two countries in years. The fact that the Wagner Group was involved just made it even more interesting. Some people think that the Wagner Group's involvement was actually a deliberate move by the Russian government to test the waters with the U.S. military. It's like they were saying, hey, let's see how tough these guys really are. And boy, did they find out. The U.S. military absolutely smoked the Wagner group. It was like watching a bunch of amateurs go up against a seasoned pro. It just goes to show that you don't mess with the U.S. military. All right, YouTubers, let's break down how the U.S. military outmatched the Russian mercenaries in eastern Syria. The sequence of events is like something out of a Hollywood movie. The Russian mercenaries thought they were going up against a weak opponent. But little did they know, they were about to get smoked by the most powerful military force in the world. It all started when the first vehicle in the convoy blew up, and explosion after explosion shook the ground. Within minutes, the U.S. military had deployed an impressive array of air power, including AC-130 gunships, Predator drones, Apache helicopters, and fighter jets. The Russian mercenaries were completely outmatched. One of the key factors in the U.S. military's victory was their use of technology. The Predator drones provided critical intelligence on the enemy's movements, while the AC-130 gunships delivered devastating firepower from the sky. The Russian mercenaries were caught off guard by the precision and speed of the American military's response. It was like watching a chess game, with the U.S. military making all the right moves and the Russian mercenaries left scrambling to keep up. The Russian mercenaries' tactics were no match for the U.S. military's advanced weaponry and strategy. The mercenaries tried to use surprise and overwhelming force to overpower their enemy, but the U.S. military was able to stay one step ahead at every turn. The American soldiers were well-trained and well-equipped, and they used their superior tactics to counter the mercenaries' aggressive approach. In the end, the Russian mercenaries were forced to retreat, leaving the U.S. military victorious in one of the deadliest engagements in recent memory.
Hey, hey, let's talk about the importance of the oil field in eastern Syria. This ain't your average oil field, no siree. This bad boy was a major source of moolah for the Syrian government before the whole civil war thing broke out. And when ISIS got involved, they were like, hey, we want some of that sweet, sweet oil money, too. So they took control of most of the oil fields in eastern Syria, including this one. But it wasn't just about the money, folks. Oh, no. This oil field was a strategic asset for the U.S.-led coalition that was fighting against ISIS in Syria. It helped to cut off a key source of funding for the terrorist group and made it harder for them to operate. And let's not forget that it was also important for preventing the Syrian government and its allies like Russia from gaining access to the oil resources. And that brings us to the potential for conflict, with both the U.S. and Russia having interests in securing the oil fields and supporting their respective partners in Syria. This oil field was like a powder keg just waiting to explode. So yeah, when the Russian mercenaries tried to take it over, you better believe the U.S. military wasn't going to let that happen without a fight. So you can see why the oil field was such a big deal. It was like a hot potato that everyone wanted to grab, but no one wanted to get burned by. And when the Russian mercenaries tried to take it, the U.S. military was ready to smoke them like a salmon on a cedar plank. But in all seriousness, the oil field was a crucial asset for both sides in the conflict. It represented a significant source of income and strategic advantage, and both the U.S. and Russia were willing to fight to protect their interests. The fact that the U.S. military was able to successfully defend the oil field and take out the Russian mercenaries was a major blow to the Wagner Group and a demonstration of the U.S. military's strength and capabilities. It also served as a warning to Russia that the U.S. was not to be trifled with in Syria. All right, let's talk about the heroes of the story, the U.S. military personnel who defended the oil field. These guys were part of a coalition that was fighting against ISIS in Syria. And let me tell you, they were not messing around. They were like a bunch of Chuck Norrises. Except instead of fighting bad guys on the big screen, they were doing it in real life. But what's really impressive is that they had established a deconfliction line with the Russian military to avoid any misunderstandings. That's like when you and your best friend decide to split a pizza and you draw a line down the middle to make sure nobody gets ripped off. Except in this case, the stakes were a bit higher than a slice of pepperoni. So not only were these U.S. military personnel kicking butt and taking names, but they were doing it while being responsible and communicating with the Russians. That's some real teamwork right there. And it just goes to show that even in the midst of conflict, it's possible to find common ground and work together towards a common goal. Well, folks, that's the end of our tale about the U.S. military smoking the Russian mercenaries in eastern Syria. From fiery explosions to intense air battles, this was no routine mission. And we can't forget about the Wagner Group, those Russian mercenaries who thought they were just going to waltz in and take over the oil field. Sorry, not sorry. But why was that oil field so important, you ask? Well, besides being a major source of revenue for Syria and ISIS, EDU, it was also a strategic asset for the U.S.-led coalition fighting against ISIS. And of course, let's not forget about the potential conflict between the U.S. and Russia over the oil resources. Can you imagine? No, you can't have the oil field. We saw it first! No, we saw it first. Ah... Uh, the joys of international politics. And last but not least, let's give a shout out to the brave U.S. military personnel who defended that oil field. They were part of a coalition fighting against ISIS in Syria and had even established a deconfliction line with the Russian military to avoid any clashes. Talk about being diplomatic and badass at the same time. So let's raise a glass to our military heroes and their epic victory over the Russian mercenaries. Cheers!